Seriously. Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife Janet Lee on the natural hairs and twos, and this is we ain't seen the reaction. Wait it girl, wait like you just don't care. Yeah, we ain't seen the reactions, guys. The place where we rock natural hair and react to things we never seen. And today, man, it's time to pull out them pistols and go blick blick on some, jumping all around the corner on some John Woo shit with pigeons flying everywhere and bullets just dropping to the floor. And we react to some more Black Lagoon. Because last time we left off, we had a. Uh... We had us a field day on some Terry's. Yeah, on some Terry's. What's that, uh, Drax Nim? Drax? I am. Flounce. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes. That is my favorite Ken Kill skit. For Terry's real. on a plane. Terry's on a plane. We ran it on your house. But they house. was Terry's on a ship, though. Yeah, we, we ran on a ship with box cutters and everything, man. Right. <laughs> we had a <laughs> polyurethane. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, um, it was a lot of bullets flying left and right because Rebby, she was on her demon time shit. Um, the, uh, they didn't succeed in getting the painting at first, you know, because... Stuff happened. She wanted to have a long ass conversation about how much of a hard knock life she had and why right. can't nobody tell her nothing, which I get. But it was like, baby, that is not the time. It's not. It's not, man. I'm sorry. Especially when you on a damn ship with not that much oxygen and you got right. motherfuckers sneaking you on the ship too. And you got the mask too. on. Bitch, you got what you came here for. Go. Yeah, she could have. They could have been left and made it out with the painting, but because it went that. the other way, so they wouldn't have known exactly. or seen you or something. I don't know how that worked, but anyway. They figured out what they did wrong. They regrouped and they went back and handled up on some Terry's. They did that, man. And um, Rebby, she's not really feeling my boy Rock. You know, he's he seems like he's an outlier, if if I can say that word. Like he's not really like them. He has too much sympathy, and he's not like a your usual thief or a person that just. Are you fucking serious? What the hell happened? I don't know what that is. Okay. Hello! Yeah, there we go. Why are you I think it's because you know your phone. How are you going to say my phone did it? You, you did. You put your phone right there. You know what? RBG want to blame me. Let's get into this episode because I'm going to teach him a lesson. Everybody no. needs their own Johnny to mess stuff up from time to time. But that's all right, babe, because that's part of the show. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into this next episode. Um, this is going to be episode seven. Calm down. Two men in a cup. So let's get it. So the Pope says to this guy who's dressed like he's home. I told you to get out of here yesterday. Yeah, good one. Do me a favor. Just shut up and drive, will ya? Shut up and drive, drive, drive. <laughs> this sucks. This really fucking sucks. Why am I stuck playing fucking errand boy with you? That's what I really wanted to own. That lousy production. Oh my god, what is she doing to him? What? Why me? The last Tostino's pizza. Going all day. And Benny's gonna be busy with the electronics. Oh, right. Remy's just laying around in the room. You can take her with you. Hmm. Nigga, you know what you try to do. You try to get them to make up. <laughs> so loud. Uh oh, nipples. Nibbity whippity whip slips. We gonna have to censor this on YouTube. Are you rolling? Yeah. The only I if I remember. Yes. Get the channel taken down. Get the channel taken down. Age restriction. You look so good, you'd be great for you. I'm telling you. Tell him Abdul Hakim. Real shame. So he looks like. Uh, right. Regarding the goods you ordered from, you ordered booze for this place, right? We've got 1,500 bottles for you. They're in Warehouse 5 at the harbor. Now this is what I'm talking about. What? Tax sure has gone up on these. It's killing me. How's a brother supposed to make a dime? Shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. What's up with your friend? Who Ain't enough to pay for these bitches. <laughs> oh, him. He's the rookie at our place. Been for a rough ride, but you ever need anything? Well, it's my boobs look sure. like this. Later, Rowan. I like the way your boobs money, sit. Right? My boobs sit low as shit. I'm seriously losing my mind. <laughs> 
I have a meeting tonight too. Some more idiots selling drugs. See all that old VHS tape too now. I'm a pain in the butt. Hold on a sec. She's taking me. Right in the booty. Right up the poop shoot. I'll thank you properly. Yeah, if we hear anything. I'm sure we'll be back pretty soon. This poor guy. I'll let the rest. Somebody shoot me. That's the chapel. I can't let your kind walk through there. Over here. That's how we doing me. it? We women are the cloths or women are the glocks? <laughs> this certainly is a surprise. I never thought I'd see the day when Dutchy Boy would send you on an errand. That's none of your business. Now why don't you tell us if you got the goods we ordered, sister? Right, new items from Eastern Europe arriving by way of Cambodia. Oh, but one item. Unfortunately, we're still waiting to receive the Arwen 37 grenade launcher you ordered. Mm. Don't fuck with us, sister. Why don't you do the smart you watch your mouth. one by the book, so everyone will be happy. It's like, I'll strike your ass down before the Lord will. You your money with your feet, would ya? I wouldn't make idle threats if I were you, Rebecca. If you insist, then why don't you bring Dutchy Boy around? <laughs> 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 Bitch! She looked like she was fast. She do. It looked like Rebecca. It's a blonde. And with more clothes. That's all I have to say. There's nothing before, nothing after. Why that sign the song they play when you do your finisher on um, Def Jam Fight for New York? And she got the girl glasses on too. This is very good tea, sister. Sister, um, Sister Act sister Two. Yolanda, young man. It's been a very long time since I've had tea that wasn't from a tea bag. There's never been a yes. better time to ask, it's what's the tea, that sis? Kind of history and dedication to deliver such flavor without fail. Rock, will you shut the fuck up? That's true for any company, even if their products <laughs> differ. Am I right in saying that? Oh my god. Mm. I don't quite see it. What exactly are you getting at, young man? What is your point? Are you trying to imply that it's also true for illegal firearms? I'm afraid we won't have much of a negotiation if you get too hasty. <laughs> I'm talking about the drugs. Huh? That's what I'm getting at, sister. Why did you have those men leave the clean linens in the shed? Aren't cleaned items normally taken to the living quarters? Young man, you can't make statements based on mere conjecture. You make it sound like the stuff's coming out of this place. It's just a hypothesis. <laughs> also, I love they dynamic. We could talk about weapon shipments. He's, let's talk about it. The She's she first asked the last uh, later. It seem to add up if you know what I mean. That's easy to figure out with a little research. It was dangerously easy to see, actually. One last thing. The Lagoon Company is, of course, on friendly terms with Hotel Moscow. But I wouldn't say we necessarily work together either. <laughs> I see your point. If you improve your timing a bit, then you'll really take shape. My dear, you could learn a thing or two from that young man, you know. In the end, waving your gun around doesn't work. You'll never do good business like Hello. that. Hello. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Damn. There's no way to talk to a woman of the cloth. I don't want it. Try it. A good meal will make you feel better. Why don't you give me the keys? I'll go home on my own. If you do that, I can't get back. Why don't you walk? That's not gonna happen. I like his personality you know in this what? episode. It's yeah. Like it's... He's chilling, man. Japan. You're just not cut out for this. Well, you're the one who invited me. Yep, but it fucked up there. I wonder. I want to duck set this shit up. kept the church from becoming a bloodbath today. It's just like the old lady said. You can't solve everything with a gun. I'm warning you. Girl, shut up! You better watch what you see, Brock. You've been like this ever since the submarine. Was yeah, I hate talk? this character. Who cares? <laughs> I told you never to talk about that again. Revy, I'm not 
can apologize anymore. That's what I'm talking about, nigga. Step up to our ass. Reader. You just stepped on a non-negotiable big ass fucking landmine. <gasps> like I said, a real shame. There's just one last thing I need to ask you. What do you want on your tombstone, cocksucker? Why don't you write? There's no cure for a fool with a gun. <laughs> yes, sir. See ya. Who stepped in? Did Dutch step in again? Oh wow! He actually put the gun, pushed it up himself. See that? There are some problems you can't solve with a gun. For everything else, that's pizza. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Who are you calling bastard? My name is Rock! You got that? Well, she's probably gonna like her after this. What's my motherfucking name? I've had enough! I was done with kissing ass for a living, but here I am at the ends of the earth, now I'm supposed to be kissing your ass? What kind of sick joke is this? You fucking spoiled, arrogant son of a- It's Rock! Who the hell are you kidding? Why don't you try taking a good look at yourself? Aren't you supposed to be some kind of outlaw, a wild pirate? But as soon as you open your mouth, all I ever hear you talking about is money, money, money. You money, money, money. You think you building after the big prize, but you end up scavenging off corpses instead. Don't you have any pride left in you? You're a white you white collar. What do you know about my life, huh? Nothing, because you won't tell me. Exactly. You're right. Did I got banished from my country? Know that. I'm not you, after all. But still, let me ask you this. Other than the fact that I'm white collar, what do you know about me? It doesn't matter who you are or how you live. We all have to suffer. Very good. Right? Very good. You have no intention of understanding that. Instead of owning up to things, you'd rather play the part of the tragic heroine. That's the most cowardly thing about you, Revy. Shut up! It's convenient for you to be like that! <sighs> Damn it! This That's is all she can do. Picaresque Hollywood films you Just love to look talk about. It. There are no heroes in this life! Shut up! Shut the fuck up, dammit! I'm serious! I'll kill you! Then do it. Keep chasing your tail like a dog if that's what you want. If you kill me here, then you'll just end up proving me right. <sighs> Exactly. Damn, it's already finna go off. <laughs> he just basically, you know, confronted her whole way of thinking. He did and she that. didn't like it. Did she you just... forget, Revy? <laughs> the reason I ended up here. My boss has calmly cut my life away. I was an afterthought, and all for what? To protect their dirty money, their expense accounts, their place at the boardroom table. I my hope he doesn't become like her, though. Like waking up from a long sleep. My life had become a Under the game. sea! Big laughing, lowering my head, risking my life to score points. And all of that was fine as long as I had a place to drink after work in a batting cage nearby. And then, just like that, none of it mattered anymore. The one person who shook me awake the one who invited me in. It was you, Revy. What concerns me now is that the one woman who showed me all of this is acting just like the people who betrayed me. I'm not going to stand by and let that happen. This is just episode eight, damn it. I don't know what you're talking about, god damn it. It is episode eight, isn't it? Ah, fuck it. You're oh, a real pain in the ass, you know that? <laughs> idiot like you won't live long. We're both idiots and we both suffer. Just leave it at that. I'm pretty sure you're the biggest idiot here. Dumbass. Hey, you two. Why don't you mind your own fucking business? <laughs> Surprise. I hear someone's making a ruckus at the market and it turns out to be you again. Revy, this town isn't your private shooting gallery. Discharging your weapon without any concern for who's watching, and I'm the poor slob who's gotta put out the fire. Mm. Isn't that why we give you all those fat envelopes? Do I complain to you about my job, Chief? I'm not saying don't do it, I'm just saying do it where no one's gonna see you. 
As long as you do that, I don't care if you kill people or play hide the apple for that matter. Out of sight, out of mind means that I don't have to cancel my golf dates and I can work on my short game in peace. Anyway, I'm bringing you in. There's paperwork to be taken care of on our side. Fine by me. Damn engine is giving me trouble. <sighs> Drown your sorrows? Thanks. Get them hurricanes. Them hurricane runners. Hey, Chief, don't go stealing our car. I don't want that piece of shit. Come get it later. <laughs> I impound that shit just because I can, bitch. Hey, Rook. Just one thing. Let me ask you this, and there won't be any more trouble. So, um. I just want to know which side. Would you like to have sex with me? Oh. <laughs> I'm right here where I'm sitting, Revy. I'm not anywhere else. Rock. Give me a light. Light? The cops got the lighter. What are you talking about? You got one in your mouth. Hmm? Hmm. What a fucked up day that was. <laughs> oh shit. Well, I guess that's equivalent to a kiss. Yeah. It's disgusting. Looking in each other's eyes, getting cancer as they do so. Right. Damn. I'm so tired. I want to go home and sleep. Super hype dances <laughs> to that fat ass music. Oh man, guys, that was episode seven. Calm down, two men. I still don't get the two men thing. I guess because oh. she act like a man too. Either I have no idea. She like she got crazy. more testosterone than esterone. You know what I'm saying? She got a lot of something. I mean, you know, maybe she got her reasons. But yeah, like he brought up, it's like you don't know what my life was like. All yeah. you know is I had a job, but you have no idea who I, who I was and what I was about, what I had to go through, any of that. You know, and it's like, yeah, you have those people who act crazy. You know what I've been through. Okay, why don't we talk about it? Exactly. Like, Let's you talk. You don't tell me anything about yourself, but you just want to act crazy. That's, you don't want to get better. You don't want any help. You just want to complain. And he, he had to let her know. I appreciate that. I do too, man. I, that was a great episode. That was some great dialogue. <laughs> you know, usually I'm not for dialogue in most anime because it it's not good. But this is not a kid's anime. It's not. It and this is the kind of like, and this episode, I really like the last two episodes. This was definitely a good one, so I got to give it an S+. Plus. See? Look at her. Hey, don't I say I know that. it was kind of a mixed bag at first. You weren't sure where we were going. I wasn't sure. Because you was, hated Remy that much and Rocky hey, was kind of a punk. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Just because he had to tell her off, she's not going to completely change overnight. But yeah, maybe she'll be a little more tolerable. I'm pretty sure they're going to fall in love or some shit. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. She just one day, you know, she already ain't got no button up on the damn coochie uh, cutters. She don't. The only thing she got to do is just loosen up the little belt buckle and shit like that and it's on and popping. You know what I'm saying? Rock going to be over there. You know how they get down. The Japanese dudes, how they kiss. They put their whole mouth on something. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I'm really enjoying this, you know, getting the chance to just strip off the layers of these characters and what they go through. Because, like Rock said, you don't know me. And, you know, I always thought that was like a thing where... People just come in, they judge you based solely on their own their life experiences. And sometimes you don't even have to say anything. I know you've had instances where you just walk into a room and people just instantly assume like, oh, she thinks she's better than us. Yeah, I've had that happen a lot. Just, I walk in somewhere and people just, everybody's looking at me and they think a certain thing about me. And it's just like, can't you have said hello? How are you? What do you like? Anything new? Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, there's a lot of instances like that. I know I'm a. I've I've had instances like that. You know, I, we all have those kind Everybody, of instances. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. You know, so it is what it is, man. But I really enjoyed them, and I get that S as well. So yes, two double S's back to back. Look at Black Lagoon, National Lampoon. They had to show us the nips. They did. Show us the nips they did. The nips on the slips the of the nips dips. The nips and the pornographer. The pornographer. 
But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and keep it moving and groove into episode eight. So let's do it. So the troublemakers making. But all they live is fucked up. It better be. Well, on second thought, I don't think anything's really changed, has it? The only thing that's useful about him is his white collar look. Makes him perfect for this job. Girl, sit down. So far, anyway. I thought you finally Wait, made up. Let me guess. You is it great about that little cargo we're taking back with us? That's what happened when your drawers be stuck in your booty so hard and, and you eat bagels with lettuce. After all, it's just a cartel's little errand we're running. So what's the big deal? Hey, talk with your mouth full. Uh, I counted those crates we delivered like you wanted me to. And I brought that shipment we're taking back with us, too. But are you sure he's it? Who is that? Once we arrive at Hot Yai, we're handing him over to some buyer designated by the Colombian Mafia. Revy, put him in a cabin for now. Human trafficking? Fine. <laughs> Nani? Right, let's go, kid. Yeah. Child abuse? Hey! Qua? You don't want to piss me off. Over here. I hope you cut all your hair off in your sleep. This poor man, he's starting to drink. Oh, not the Church of Chicken Gravy. Boy, I'm sh. Rock. Sorry, but would you mind taking over babysitting duties for now? Because you can see, not a lot of the terminals take there. can't exactly deliver the shipment to hold them. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Uh, listen, it's just for a bit longer, but we are going to be traveling together. Maybe it's too much to ask, but can you stop throwing food at me? You can't fool me. Santa Maria sees right through your friendly talk, you liar. <sighs> Well, I can you don't see want to wear a penny loafers. Don't want to Michael Jackson threes. <laughs> You're not anything like that mean tattooed lady or that big black guy, are you? You're trying to, to say. Like a normal person. Hmm. I guess. I guess, uh, yeah. Is, I'm really just a crook in training. The man who put me on the boat didn't tell me where I'm going or what's going to happen to me. They're planning to sell me off somewhere, aren't they? You worried? You'll we'll be fine. My father would never let anything happen to me. Father? But aren't you supposed to be an orphan? Who told you that? It was probably the cartel. They're a bunch of big liars. My father's the head of one of the great 13 families of South America, the 11th patriarch of the Lovelace household. He is Diego Jose San Fernando Lovelace. What a name. It's too long for me to remember. When I'm old enough, I'll become the next head of the Lovelace family. If you're looking for pity, Lovelace. you will find it here. If you're gonna tell lies, you can at least come up with a better one. Exactly. Than that. I don't want pity. Don't be stupid. But what good would it do me to lie to you now? My father is a man of good character. He never got involved in anything illegal. Business wasn't going well, but the plantations were stable until the mafia came. That is. And you're trying to tell me that you were kidnapped by that mafia? You have a gift for making up stories, kid. Not bad. <laughs> They came one day and tried to force my father to sell our land. A geological survey showed that we had lanthanides there. When my father refused to sell, we saw what they were really like. They came to our farms and harassed us. But my father refused to be intimidated by them. And that's how I ended up here. It's well known that the Lovelace household has a dog. About that dog. Tell me what you know. That's an easy question. That dog became a member of our family six years ago. His name is Laszlo, and he's a white Volpino Italiano. Mm. Hmm. Nigga Laszlo. Remy, Rock's taking too long. Oh. I bet he's in there right now, rocking him to sleep. He's gonna get all emotional. Rock he's probably gonna come up here and give us a song story and ask us to let him go. <laughs> what I say? I just don't get it. The minute they got the kid, they could have demanded a ransom right then, and they would have got what they wanted. Is there any reason for them to keep it a secret and sell them off? I don't know why they keep it a secret. But I can think of good reason why Maybe he might be the it. heir to the... If you ask me, they probably whatever. get even pissed off. If there's one thing all mafias have in common, it's that they hate having shit rubbed in their faces. They're not going to let something like that go unpunished. Anybody would hate that, you know though. What I mean? All right then, Rod. 
life. There's one more thing we need to check out before this thing goes any further. I'm talking about Daddy Lovelace. Is he the type who's capable of sending out private troops to rescue his son, or was the kid just bluffing us? I don't think so. Financially speaking, they can't afford more than one personal servant for the entire household at this point. A servant? What kind? An ordinary housemaid. So, do you think the maid's gonna rush in to try and save the little prince, or what? She will be shot. Right, I, this is who I think they talking about. I think this is that character that C -D CJ the Champ had made a video on. She don't look like she came to play already. That bitch like she from another anime. I don't know what that is. Oh, my nigga? Oh, that's that bar. I thought she was going back to the pimp's place. Oh. So, mm, okay, I like this little maid fetish. She just slapped my boy. Come on. What are you, a schoolyard bully? Don't forget, you used to be a brat once upon a time. Yeah? I don't remember getting paid to babysit. This is a fucking joke. Remy, your ass. Boy! All right, isn't that enough? Uh, what? You too now? <sighs> Wait, let me guess. You're gonna treat him nice and get a job at his house? Guess that makes sense. Just look at you. You definitely be better off as some stuck up butler than as a sailor. That's for damn sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Rebby. He'll be asking him, <laughs> Massa, how would you like your mint julep? I sure hope you like it. What the fuck? You can just like old Black <laughs> Joe. Must be nice to be surrounded by dozens of servants all day. Ha! Like I told you before. This is dialogue my gold. My family only has the one servant. She's a maid and her name's Roberta. But she's not very good at cleaning or doing chores. She don't cook, she don't clean, but she'll show you how she got this ring. We don't serve milk here. <laughs> Can I have a glass of water? I only arrived here today and I don't know my way around. I'm in search of a Colombian friend of mine. Do you know where I might find it? That's quite a Right. I see. So you've chosen death. Order a real drink. This is a bar. Come on, my nigga. I only arrived here today and I don't know my way around. I am in search of a Colombian friend of mine. Do you know where I might find my fellow Colombians in this town? <laughs> Could you help me find the authorities? It would be a great help. Lady, does this place look like a fucking tourist center to you? Do you see me handing out maps? No. She's always been very clumsy. And it's true, she can't clean or do chores. But still, Roberta's a lot stronger than you are. She's going to save me. Yeah, she definitely strong in the patients department. <laughs> That's already strong in her. It's like really she might look attractive to some people, but she probably must She do like she like she don't put no deodorant on. Then I'll believe anything you say, kid. Even if you say Jesus wrote a drop for a cross room sixty six. And have you seen her when she was being strong? I haven't, but I do remember there was this one time. CGI butterfly wings. We live together do. at my father's house. But whoever do y'all guard, they need to be fired. My father, I like it. Roberta, and me. It was a piece of You life. wouldn't like it just sitting out there during pollen season. Hell no. <laughs> I didn't have many friends to play with there, so Roberta would always play with me. I'm like the maid from um, what's your coach said. I especially love to arm wrestle with her. Probably because I could beat Roberta every Actually, time. Actually, Revy looked like the maid. She never won, she yeah, was she got the same hair color, huh? The yeah. two of us were out in the garden arm wrestling on that day, too. And then, they came to threaten my father. Somehow she knew what was going on long before I ever did. The moment she sensed that they were coming to our house, her arms suddenly stiffened. <laughs> Baby, it ain't time to play right now. But her arm wouldn't move. Oh, she getting swole. Shit. Those times she'd been losing to me on purpose, and that's when I realized there was a good reason why Roberta played the part of the weak and timid maid. My 
I found out then. This nigga might find out himself. She seemed to have a little more patience. Yeah. Ooh. Who is these people? Oh, Ernest goes on vacation right here. Let's get his ass. Ooh, they smart. Right? They tried to tell you to come up around well, here. Yeah. The wife died four years ago. Pictured here are the father, Diego, his only son, Garcia, and their one servant. She's a housemaid and a caretaker for the boy. I don't like this. This isn't good. Ma'am? Comrade Sergeant, take a look at her eyes. Don't you notice anything? You can't see them. Oh, shit. The eyes of a soldier. That is correct, Sergeant. <laughs> and that's not all. She's one hell of a rabbit dog. That girl is boys. I've got business with you. I hear some crazy bitch dressed up like a maid. He's asking all over town where she can find the Colombian mafia. No, why he sound Colombian or he sound Hispanic? Why she don't sound? That's local, Holmes. We don't know you around here, Holmes. No. Come on, man. You fucking cockroach. This is the briefcase. But you're not eating one of them made outfit all the way overseas. I have a few questions I'd like to ask. Please excuse me, but I'm afraid I may have no other choice but to be rude. Be rude, she said. What a crazy bitch! I'm very sorry, but I will not be able to hold back. Please excuse me. Uh oh. Carter. Damn! You got a shell up in that motherfucker. Why they had to cut it off? I want to see more. <laughs> Goddamn Roberta, man. She like she is a ticking time bomb and you can't read off of shit. This is a good episode. I'm liking how they have these different characters that we don't even know what they're going to be doing. Unfortunately, I kind of had an idea that this character was, this character was going to be like on some ill shit because I saw CJ the Champs like video. I didn't watch the video, but I saw the thumbnail. I'm like, this character's from Black Lagoon and she's going to be on some of the most wildest shit. Thankfully, I haven't seen everything that she's about because they just kind of been alluding to it and they building it up. So... I got a feeling that she's going to really show out. She's going to show out, man. For real. She don't seem like she's the one. Yeah, I like the pacing in this episode, too. Even though it cuts back and forth between Roberta and the Black Lagoon crew with the, the, the kid, I, I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Because the kid doesn't know her profession like that. He just knows that she's yeah, a crumbly Yeah, they're back and maid. forth until they meet up. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm wondering how dirty it's going to get. Is, okay, is she going to just cover that whole bar in blood is she gonna shoot the damn bartender for being a dickhead you know what I'm saying cause shit can go left when you talking crazy to somebody and they just ask you for something. they just gotta deal with it this is what call center representatives be wanting to do like right. you talk to me crazy I'm finna wanna break a glass in your face mm -hmm. but I can't see your face which is the good thing about working at a call center yeah yeah we'll see though man I'll give that in April yeah, I'm giving that an A plus too, man. Like I just hate that it just cut off at that point because they know what they doing. <laughs> they did. They know what they doing, man. Like I want to see. I wonder if her and Revy gonna butt heads because if she see a Revy stop that boy, and I hope Revy beat that. I mean, I hope uh, uh Roberta beat the hell out of her. I'm Revy. team Roberta. She team Revy. No, I'm team Roberta. I hope Roberta beat the holy hell out of her. I hope she yank her from one side of the east to the west to the north to the south. I hope <laughs> she drown her under some ice. I hope she pick her back up from under the ice and let a seal eat her. Damn. <laughs> then I hope she let the, a damn polar bear come and eat the seal that ate her. Damn. Damn, baby. <laughs> then I hope she put the damn polar bear in the zoo so she can suffer for eternity. And then I hope she uh, celebrates by having Coca-Cola with the bear. Because it's a polar bear, right? 
No, no, don't put the polar bear in the zoo. Yeah. Don't do that. But anyway. Yeah, but um, that's going to do it for us today, guys. We hope you enjoyed this reaction because we are having a blast. We're actually, actually enjoying this show, you know. <laughs> Yeah, if there's any anything that we may have gotten misconstrued, I cannot talk today for some reason. But yeah, if there's anything we may have gotten misconstrued, be sure to provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us, because y'all do an exceptional job, man. Get at us. But anyways, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. My lovely wife, Johnny Lee, on the ones and twos. We intend to reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Black Lagoon. Peace. <laughs>